Inocente, si no lo vence, soy un racha who want beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone it's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now, I do apologize. I still haven't gotten the light, but the light doesn't really matter at this point. Now, yesterday, a lot of you guys were really upset saying that I, I moved my car back in the living room. Please, I thought I escaped that. Not again. When I looked at the comments and then I saw Pancho's in his living room. <laughs> I started having flashbacks. Okay, first and foremost, just because the damn garage is not in the background, I was charging my car, so I had had that booty cheeks in the back in reverse, so the booty cheeks of my car was in reverse, so I had to charge it, and that's why you guys saw the frames. And I didn't even put those frames. My mom put the frames up there. You feel me? I'm not in my room. I'm in the damn garage, baby girl. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe. We're really close to 150,000 subscribers. I know you think your subscription doesn't matter, but it really does. And let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... Que me perdona Dios, but I'm in church right now with one AirPod listening to the cheese, man. How? Hold on, bro. How? How you, I'm saying, how, like, talk to me, bro. Zombie. Now, the first thing that we're actually going to get into, if you guys didn't see my video about the Double Dipper yesterday, aka also known as Austin McBroom, aka also known as Escobita, if you guys didn't see, we were getting some allegations from Tana Mojo the Dojo that he was cheating, getting the mic, mic, mic. And how allegedly he hires these nannies, and these nannies aren't really nannies. And we did talk about this information, but one other young lady actually came up on TikTok. And I know a lot of times there's always these young ladies coming with these allegations on TikToks, but they never really follow through with screenshots. You know what I'm saying? It's more, it's more like a he said, she said type thing. But this young lady was showing the Snapchat username, the DM, the Uber payment. And I was over here looking like, shish, no witch, my. All right, I really shouldn't have to prove myself to anyone, but since everyone thinks I'm capping, I'm gonna provide you with a little more. They wanted the Uber receipt. Here's the Uber receipt. There's my hotel. There's the house in Malibu. If you know California, you know that's Malibu. Why did I scribble the name out? I don't know. Honestly, I thought it was illegal. Um, I also could just change anybody in my phone to his name, so. <laughs> but here's a little proof that he is in my contacts. Here is proof that it's his actual Instagram. Here's our message. There you go. Here's this video again. My God! How much more can you stink? I mean, it's his actual Snapchat, in case you forgot. And in no way am I trying to play some innocent victim role. But there was a lot of manipulation involved to get to where it went to. Because in reality, you shouldn't be DMing girls in the first place about business when it, in reality, it's for something else. Do you remember when you said, I will always love you. You're the love of my life. We'll be together forever. Where are they now? Hmm? It'll work out. Yeah, together, forever. <laughs> Now she did click on the Snapchat name, you know what I'm saying? She looked at it, you, you can see it says, let me see that. And I said, what? Let me see that what? The cocodrilo? Is that what it said? He wanted to see a little bit of the cocodrilo. Basically what had happened is that she said that Austin McGroom reached out to her or for some business for the monkey or, or maybe the silly juice, the ratita juice, she wanted, whatever it was. And then allegedly uh, it wasn't really for business that they, when they when they met up, that, they, that he wanted a Netflix and chill it a little bit, get a little bit of the mang 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 going on. Now, my thing is to Catherine is, you know, how is Austin going to dodge this? Is he going to come out and saying that it's fake? Because you can see, you know, she proved kind of, you know, she put all three screenshots. But what do you guys think of this situation? Do you guys think that maybe there was like a really good editor or something that maybe Austin McBroom actually didn't cheat? Or do you think that this young lady is telling the truth that Austin McBroom is a little bit of a double dipper? Speaking of the double dipper, now we're going to go back to Mr. Landon McBroom. I told you, Landon. He thought he ran away. He said, I'm done with the situation. I want my match. I'm feeling big. I'm a big dog. <laughs> Sorry about that. It appears that we have somebody that said something rather than nothing. And basically, this nothing was Branticita. And I said, what did she say? My um, so something has been on my mind. And so Louis and I, we did a video called Truth or Shot. 
and one of the questions we had to answer was is there a youtube family or like a youtube person or whoever that you don't like and we said yes and we did like a little story on why we didn't like this family and it's not like it's not the couple that we don't like it was particularly like the guy because of like this like incident we had with the guy um and just to like sum it up if you guys didn't see the video basically like this guy hit me up to collab we started texting and we were supposed to do a video together and he's like okay like what are some of your ideas so i gave him three ideas very specific ideas and he didn't reply to my text after that like completely ghosted me and then two days later did the same exact video idea that i gave him title thumbnail everything and when i saw that i was like that was pretty fub. like the fact that you reached out to me and at the time i like me and lewis we had more subscribers than them we had more views than them like they weren't really known back then like nobody really knew them and like this family like this whole like all these people are known to be like rats and just kind of like do what they got to do to get ahead of everybody so who is this person that i'm talking about who's the family channel so it doesn't have to do with the family channel with the like the girl um i have nothing to like nothing against her i've never spoken to her i've never had like an altercation with her like nothing against her i actually wish her the best and when you guys find out like who the guy is you'll know why i wish her the best um so the guy is landon mcbroom i think he's a big ass piece of sh i think he's a rat and with everything that's been coming out i wish her the best and i hope she's doing good yeah, i just think he's a big ass piece of sh and i've heard so many stories about him from like other youtubers behind the scenes that he's done to other people too um yeah like i said i think he's a big piece of so basically, Ramsey had a, a lot of things to reveal in these stories. Uh, how Mr. Landon McBroom uh, reached out to her, like on some collaboration type thing, and then uh, from there, Ramsey had given him like you know a couple of ideas, three you know three specific ideas to as to what they can collab with, and then that Mr. Landon said, "Gorzva, thank you very much. Give me that." allegedly took the ideas and then made a video Ramsey was upset because uh she did call him a piece of caca i think it was like three times so i think she really means it like he's a piece of caca la masa guada and i was over here like damn you know maybe she called him a piece of doo-doo once but no i heard doo-doo three times also a rata no filter i said keep it coming yes aside from the double dipper brothers he then actually called out Catherine, the little mermaid girl <laughs> Honestly, like the entire McBroom family, I just think they have like really bad morals and they'll do whatever the hell they have to do to get on top. And then when they don't need you anymore, like when you're not convenient to them, they, they just cut you right off. Like when we like collabed with the Ace family really long time ago, like didn't have like the best impression of Austin specifically. And that's why like I still followed Catherine, but I just unfollowed her. She's super sweet, like nothing against her personally, but I just think like she just has like the same mindset and mentality of them of like using people. Um, I didn't follow her just because I didn't feel right like talking about her brother-in-law while still following her And then I've also been wanting to unfollow her for a little bit now It pains me to talk about her because she is sweet But I just feel like she plays the game the same exact way that Austin and Landon do Um, she like hit me up a while ago when her skincare line launched and she wanted to send me a PR package and I said of course I put it on my story amazing products she honestly put like so much en energy and time into that and I was genu genuinely like really happy for her so then like weeks go by and I needed help like contacting somebody and she kind of beat around the bush didn't want to give it to me weeks go by I asked her again beat around the bush again didn't want to give it to me and then I asked her if I can send her something from my new clothing store I was like I would love to send you and like the girl something and she just didn't hit me back up other times i would dm her like she would reply back to me perfectly fine but then you want me to promote your product you wanted me to promote your product you know as a favor it's beneficial to you but then when i expect like the same support back like i couldn't get it i think Catherine's way too long in the ocean because she, remember she's a mermaid claiming she was part-time mermaid or full-time at one point so this little mermaid is getting double dipped on Aside from that, she basically asked people to promote it, but then when people ask her, you know, kindly, she don't want to be involved with none of that. Only when it benefits them. The family kind of takes everything when it benefits them and then kind of throws the rest away. But what do you guys think of this situation with Bramty? Not only calling out the Double Dip Brothers, also called out Catherine and the whole Ace family just in general. Make sure to comment down below. And for the world news, did you guys see all of our presidents, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, you know, some of them for the most part, the G7 League, uh, they all linked up. And I said, what? My <laughs> They said squaggles. <laughs> ah, 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 ah.
<laughs> Looking like some damn Power Rangers. Should have been called the Power Ranger Squad. Not no damn G7. Like a G6. Like a G6. Y'all know that song? That song used to slap. If you know it, you know it. If not, you're too young. <laughs> Like the G6, like the G6. Now you guys are going to be singing that all day. I already know. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Remember... What in the hell? Yo! My car said, if you ain't going to turn on the AC, big fella, I'm going to turn it off. Man, what are you doing? What are you doing? Aside from that, I don't know why my AC just turned on. But remember to subscribe to the channel. 150,000 subscribers is not a lot to ask for. Make sure to drop a comment and a like. That's what helps our channel promote the most. And I really do appreciate you guys. I ran and told my family there was people fighting outside the house. <laughs> Tell me your family is nosy without telling me your family is nosy. <laughs>